It is Sunday, June 5th in the MLB, and I'm Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And we are back. We got a favorite underdog money line. We got a player prop. We got a no one first inning coming your guys' way. As always, do us a really quick favor and mash that subscribe button. It really helps us grow on this channel. The Calling Our Shot community has been so amazing this baseball season so far. We really do appreciate it. Also, drop a like on, on the video while you're down there. I agree, Logan. And as an added incentive, today we're doing a giveaway. Now, it's not in the MLB. We'll do one in a, in a day or two, maybe tomorrow. But we did our NBA video for the finals, game two. And if the parlay we put in at the beginning of that video hits, we're giving $1,000 to random subscribers. Go down below. Hit that subscribe button. You could potentially win $1,000 today if it hits $1,000 to a random COS All-Star. We love our All-Stars out there. And $1,000 to a random person that's in our chalkboard. Chalkboard's only available on iOS, but it is the first link at the top of the description. Go join. We love chatting about it. We love hopefully waving our flags for Nerfy Nation in there. We appreciate all the chalkboard users out there. We thank you guys all for joining it already. I think we got almost 800 users in there. So let's keep running that up. Let's try to hit 1,000 today. But speaking of COS All-Stars, we love all of you guys as well our newest all-stars we got tony and we owe 2021 and elijah bibbs and i haven't even done a recap of yesterday logan but we love all these people let's do a quick recap it was a two and two day our first losing day in june we had braves uh screw the braves <laughs> of course win <laughs> six to two covering their run line and extras and they don't give us any run support in the first five thanks for nothing mckenzie over 17 and a half outs he gets seven innings pitch oh, it was looking sketchy but he gets it done the hit parlay oh brother um, I ruined Trey Turner's uh, <laughs> hitting streak. Paul Goldschmidt wasn't even in the hit parlay. His hitting streak's gone. Uh, Jose Altuve goes over. Dansby Swanson goes over. Hey, it was a parlay. So well, one leg didn't hit, didn't matter. But Brewers, Padres, no one for sending caches. Naturally, Logan and I were talking. We gave you a bunch of leans. Those leans went 5-0 and with Br Brisky's over in strikeouts. Marlins money line. Royals went outright. We said plus one and a half. And then our two nerfy calls. Either way, it could have been a great, great day. But We'll take, you know, a, a two and two day with losing a little bit of juice on the day, but we're going to keep getting into it. And I really like the slate that we've got for you guys today. So without further ado, Logan, I'm going to throw it to you. I want your first pick of the day. And I think it's a spicy one. I like it. It is a spicy one, right? I picked a couple days ago. I picked an underdog money line of cash. So let's try another one, right? Angels versus Phillies. And I'm taking the Angels money line. Currently plus 108 odds on Fandle as Austin's pulling up right here on odds gym it's it's a pretty standard you know underdog one it's it fluctuates plus 100 plus 108 i'll take it at, at fandle right now where, where are we starting with this one i previously rescued the phillies they were on a five game losing streak and i rescued the nationals they were on a four game losing streak i picked each of them to end their win their losing streaks and they both won for us now the angels i got my work cut out for them they're on a hot 10 game losing streak so I'm I am I'm going to try to break that streak today, and I'm going to try to get the Angels in the win column once again. The Phillies have only swept one team all season, you know, and that was the Road Rockies back in April. So the you know the Phillies, it's really hard in, in baseball to sweep a team. By the way, you just got to really overpower them, outmatch them, and I don't think the Phillies are necessarily that much uh, incrementally better than than the Angels. Look, who's pitching today for the Phillies? Gibson, two earned runs in each of his last three in his last three starts that's pretty solid you know numbers for gibson it's hard to find faults in his game but kyle gibson if you don't know he's an ex-ranger right rangers are in the same division as the angels so a lot of these angels hitters have actually seen him before and that and that means we've got some decent hitting splits right mike trout batting 304 versus gibson so far in june mike trout is just riding the struggle bus right he's hitless in june so he this is the ultimate mike trout is due game right he if you know now or never mike trout uh he, he's gonna pick up you know hits and runs on gibson that's my not so bold prediction for the day and let's also look at some other hitters right ward 750 versus gibson walsh 500 versus gibson and shohei otani 667 versus gibson so these hitters have seen him before and they've hit him before, and that's what that, that's really all I can ask for. Because when you're when you're facing like an X divisional pitcher, they have some of his stuff figured out, and, that, and that's what I think the Angels' offense is going to do to him today. Now, who's pitching for for the uh, Angels today? Sandoval, Sandoval, five one and one earned runs in each of his last three. Now the five is is just not going to cut it. But the one earned run type games, you know that that makes sense, right? Because he's, he's coming in with a two point seven ERA. He's a good pitcher, right? Now also, you know. When, when we're making these picks, we have to do some line reading, right? Philadelphia's fourth best in OPS versus left-handed pitchers, and, and Sandoval is a lefty. Why aren't they bigger favorites than this, right? Why why aren't they minus 140, minus 150 type favorites, you know, especially considering how bad the Angels have been? Well, you know what? I think the, Phil, Phil, the, the Phillies' bullpen is, is going to sell them 
finally, right? They've been too good, right? They're 18th in bullpen ERA. They used to be, you know, even worse than that. So they're they're steadily climbing up. The Angels 22nd in bullpen ERA. I think I think the Angels are going to be able to get some runs up on Gibson and finally get some runs up on on that Phillies bullpen. And like I said, guys, do do some line reading on this one. This one just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think Vegas is finally saying Trout's going to bust the slump and the Angels are going to bust the slump today. And I'm riding with the Angels money line. Look, when you're picking baseball, you got to hunt for value. And underdogs have a lot of value in baseball, especially long term. But Austin, who do you got for a player prop for today? I love the Angels pick. I hope Mike Trout bounces out of that slump. Today, I'm going to the Rays versus White Sox game. And I'm going to a guy named Lucas Giolito. And I'm taking this over. Five and a half strikeouts, minus 135 on DraftKings. Now, if we navigate over to our, our trusty sponsor, Odds Jam, we do see that we really only have a line on Caesars and DraftKings. The uh, price picks has it at seven. I probably want to touch seven. Um, but we'll see what FanDuel comes out with. Sharper books are at minus 138. So I expect this line to hover around this, maybe go up to six and a half for plus value. And I probably like it at that for a half unit play. Now let's talk about Mr. Giolito and why we like him today. He's been pretty solid, honestly. I mean, last start, he gave up six earned runs, still hit this over, and he enters with a 3.61 ERA, 1.35 whip, and has 59 strikeouts through 42.1 innings pitched. Now, when I look at it, I want a guy that's got more strikeouts than obviously innings pitched, and he's been well above that line. We want to see a guy that can actually strike out, guys, and Giolito's been doing that this year. Now, so far, he's had six plus Ks and seven of eight starts. So he's hit this line in seven of his eight starts. His lone miss was against the Guardians, the team that actually strikes out the fewest times in the MLB. And he has seven plus Ks in six of eight starts. So it's not just like he's getting six and barely just climbing over, cashing on the hook. He's been getting above this line, the five and a half line, pretty often. Like I said, seven plus Ks in six of eight starts this year. Now, I want to take a step back and look at the last four years because in 2022, obviously seven of eight starts, he's hit the over. 2021, 21 of 31. 2020, nine of 12 starts, he hit this over. And then 2019, 23 of 29 starts. So we see overall in the last four years, he's hit six plus Ks in 60 of his 80 starts, 75% of the time. So very good track record hitting this. And I bring up the last four years because that's kind of when, right at like 2018 offseason, he kind of flipped the switch, really became a better pitcher, a guy with a much higher strikeout percentage because I'll bring up his strikeout percentage. He's 33% uh, strikeout K percentage this year, which is pretty high in the MLB. You look at the last three years pre pre previous this year, 2021, 28%, 2020, 33.7%. 2019, 32.3%. Like I said, these last four years, you go back to 2018, you're looking at like a 16 or 18% K percentage. Obviously, he's been much better. Now, this year, K percentage in the 95th percentile, aka very good. Whiff percentage, 95th percentile, very good. Chase rate, 64th percentile, very above league average. I and mean, he's facing the Rays today, a team that's not going to strike out. I mean, they do have games where they're going to just swing at nothing. And that's what I'm hoping they get today. But still, they're 15th in strikeouts per game, not a team that I'm necessarily afraid of striking out. And Giolito, he has a good amount of plate appearances versus Rays lineup that he will be facing today, although they do kind of switch up some guys. But 57 plate appearances versus the Rays, 24.6 K percentage. So pretty, still pretty decent against them. A lot of these guys haven't been hitting him too well in five career starts versus the Rays. Eight and seven strikeouts both last year for the nine, six, and 10 Ks versus them. That even dates back to like 2017. He was still striking out the Rays pretty often. Maybe something he hates against them. I don't know. I'm not going to fight him, but I think Giolito has a great experience versus this Rays roster. When we look at yesterday, Dylan Cease, a lot of people took his over in strikeouts. No, the man got no strikeout calls. He was throwing straight meatballs down the plate, and the ump was like, Nah, not a strike. And he really got screwed out of a lot of Ks. And I don't think a lot of people will be targeting Giolito today after they saw that. He only had five strikes and a big seven walks. He only made it like four and two thirds innings pitched. I think Giolito will play pretty well today. Now, the White Sox are only three and five in games that Giolito has started. I believe his record's three and two, but still only three and five. Yet they find themselves as favorites today against the Rays team. They're still missing Tim Anderson. It's hard to really see why the White Sox are favored on the road today against a very good Rays team. I think it's a pretty good indicator that Mr. Giolito is going to pitch pretty well, and hopefully those Ks come with it. So I think Giolito, we're taking this over. It's slightly juiced at five and a half strikeouts. I don't like taking a lot of strikeout props, but I like this one, especially overs. But I like this one, and we're riding with Mr. Lucas to get it done today. Don't hurt us, fellas. But without further ado, Logan, you know what time it is. It is their B Nation time. We are three and one so far in the month of June, and hopefully we can make that four and one. You guys are going to be familiar with this one that we're going with today. Padres Brewers. We're taking the nowhere on first inning, minus 122 on FanDuel. We navigate over to Odds Jam. We see a lot of books. I swear DraftKings, I don't know what, what's in their nerfy calculator for odds, but man, they juice it to the moon. But we see that we got FanDuel minus 122 and the minus 135 Caesars, minus 127, whatever. You see all the values. But 
And why do we like it today? So we got Lauer on the mound for the Brewers, seven and two on Noah on first innings this year. He's been pretty solid. And we're looking at the San Diego Padres offense. Why did we take this one yesterday? They're 21st in first inning runs, really have been struggling. So I think Lauer, he can get it, uh, get us that, you know, three first outs. What about the next guy, Logan? Yeah, it's it's supposed to be Clevenger. Clevenger, 3-0 and on Nerfie so far this year. And the Brewers, right? Milwaukee tied for 18th and first inning runs, just like you, you mentioned with Padres. Brewers are also back of the pack. We like that. Now, jinx that. It didn't jinx us yesterday, so let's let's mention it again, right? Brewers haven't scored a first inning run, and now 10 straight games. This this Milwaukee offense, after what I just witnessed the past couple of days versus the Padres, I'm totally fine telling telling them you got to go break me and score a first inning run. They're they're not going to do that. They, you know, they have to. We have to run this back from from what I watched yesterday. Not a whole lot of hits. Not a whole lot of threat potential, right? If you can get Manny Machado out. Manny Machado yesterday was made it a slightly sweaty when he had a, a double in the first inning. But you know what? I'll take my chances with these hitters because, you know, that's just the nature of this game. You have to say, who are you fine with trusting and who are you fine with, with being wrong with? And I'm fine with both these teams. If we want to talk about another lean I looked at, I looked at the Arizona versus Pittsburgh nerfy uh, as well. You know, I think I think Gallon should be able to navigate through that lineup. I just... I, I have scar tissue from picking against the the Pirates and and Yerfy Nerfy uh, things because the Pirates always you know bring their best first inning runs against me so eh, I'm not <laughs> staying away from that one but we're we're gonna ride with Padres Brewers and Nerfy Nation we're gonna we're having a, a June to remember yeah we're gonna have a June to remember let's go to four and one on nowhere on first innings those are our three plays Angels money line Giolito over five and a half Ks and Padres Brewers no run first inning hopefully we can bring out the brooms a little three and oh day bounce back after that two and two day yesterday just a reminder about that parlay the NBA parlay does hit giving away a thousand bucks to random subscriber random all-star and a random person in our chalkboard join the chalkboard top link in the description our NBA video popping up on the screen right now if you want to check it out we appreciate you guys as always this is Sunday we'll be back on Monday for some more picks and that means the return of the parlay of the day, which will be back on Monday morning. So we'll see you guys then. It's been awesome. It's been Logan. We'll catch you guys in the next one.